let's look at the role of LH in IVF cycle. So this paper looked at the role of using LH and how we can improve the stimulation of the ovaries. Now, infertility is a complex and emotional journey. And one of the critical parts of early treatments like IVF is ovarian stimulation, where we use medications to help the woman's ovaries to produce eggs. Two main hormones involved in this is the FSH hormone and the LH hormone. The FSH hormone, what does it do? It is a hormone that stimulates the ovary and gets the follicles to grow. There's been a debate over whether adding LH, specifically a lab-made version of recombinant LH or any other LH makes treatment more effective. So this review done uh, looks at the newest evidence and the question which was asked is, who actually benefits from adding recombinant LH as a standard fertility protocol? They researched and analyzed the latest studies focusing on different groups and those who, with a reduced response, standard medications, older women with specific hormonal and genetic challenges. And the big finding was that not all women need extra LH. For most women, high-quality FSH-based stimulation works well enough. But certain subgroups can really boost from LH. One is poor responders, those who produce less eggs. Hypo responders, those women who have normal reserve but fail to respond quite weakly to FSH, often hiding a subtle genetic or hormonal issue. And LH can unlock this. Women aged 35 to 40 years old with success rate starts dropping and adding a little bit of LH, recombinant in this case, been shown to improve the chances of, of pregnancy. For women over 40, the benefits fade and it's probably due to egg quality declining that happens in the 40s and LH can't overcome that. Women with very low levels of LH, hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism, we heard adding LH is absolutely necessary. Now, just adding a hormone is not always better. The review warns that some poor responders may in fact fare worse with LH supplementation and thus it's not one size fits all and you need to be careful of how you stimulate the ovaries. They also looked at specific protocols of doses highlighting that more research is needed to perfect this and optimize treatment. So at present, and what we do know is that some conditions where using LH is absolutely necessary.